Hi, welcome. In previous video, I discussed before insert and uh, after insert trigger. In this video, I'm going to discuss before update and after update trigger. Uh, actually, we are discussing DML triggers. Uh, the triggers are created on the table. So uh, I have drafted here a staff table uh, that has column ID name and with under uh, my office database. And I'm inserting value ID one, name Mike, and with five. Uh, let's compile this course to uh, create database in the table and insert a values too. Let's see the, let's see table. We have a table here like that. Uh, let's create a trigger uh, before update. For that, we have a syntax structure is very similar to uh, similar to store, store procedure. Delimiter, create trigger, trigger name is before update, and the type of the trigger before update on the table name staff for each row. Uh, this is mandatory to write in all the trigger for each row if until we don't skip. And our logic goes in between begin and end. So what is uh, what I'm doing now? If I update any ways less than eight, then it becomes eight. That is my logic. Let's suppose there is a minimum ways eight. So all the ways less than eight, it should it should be eight. So I'm using if statement if new ways is less than eight, then Uh, then set new ways equal to get uh, semicolon in if this is the if statement that's why in if okay now we have a trigger ready uh, name before update and the type is before update. Let's run the trigger. Okay, trigger is uh, ready. Uh, now what I'm going, what I'm going to do, update the table staff. I set new value ways equal to six. Uh, where id equal to one. I'm updating the table. Now see the table. Select all from the start table. Oh, it became start table. Actually, I updated the start table with the ways six, but here is eight. This happened due to uh, this trigger uh, before update. It said if the ways is less than eight, then it should be eight. So it became eight. So this is all about before trigger. Actually, before trigger, it validates the condition and it fires and it gives the result. So it validates the condition here. If the wedge is less than eight, then it becomes eight. So this is the result. This is all about before object trigger. Now I'm going to so uh, 
another example of after update table. Okay. Then the pattern is same. So we can copy this. Copy paste to save the time. Uh, the table uh, trigger name is after update. The type is after update. Just make after update. On each, on each tab, for each row, everything is same. So the logic is here. So what I'm doing now, in after trigger, what happened? Uh, let's make clear here. In after trigger, what happens? When the uh, when the statements SQL statement executes, then the result will appear as a change when the data coming. That means. If we do anything in a one table, then when the SQL statement executes, the result goes to another table and there will be change. So commit action will be there. Okay. For that, um, uh, what I'm doing now, I have already created one start table. And in after update table, I wanna give I wanna give some information of the, about the uh, update to another table. For that purpose, I create one table. Uh, this is the create table. Table name is log, and it might it might have user worker fifty status. This will be text. I created one table, name is log. So what I'm doing now, if I update to star table, then the information goes to this log table. For that, uh, I'm making the syntax. Like insert insert into lock table what do we insert there current user actually we have to put values I insert it insert into log table values uh, the value will be current user i am concatting some message here so i am using the word concat the message will be Updated by leave space. What old name? Am I? I have not leave space here, so quote space quote. I'm making some space there. And now the time time uh, of updating. Uh, Okay, up to here, now here, this goes, concat, values, we need one more, parenthesis. So what happened here, I created, after update, trigger on the start table. So when you update anything, the message go to lock table. So there will be the current user, and this message will be there. You updated by, 
the name of the people who updated this one. Now means uh, the time when he uh, when he or she updates. That will be the logic. This is the single statement. So if there is single statement, then we don't need to use delimiter begin and the pair of the beginning in there. Okay, let's uh, create this after update trigger. Trigger is created. Trigger is created. Now, whatever we do in the start table, we can see that this. Uh, we can due to this trigger we can see the uh, information in the log table now i am i am inserting one more data here insert into insert into the stuff table the value will be two name will be sum and the salary will be always will be 11 and i am updating this one Update stop set set always equal to twelve where id equal to two. Let's insert the these values to a uh, staff table. See the table first. Select all from staff table. Uh, actually, this is still there. Oh, it should be here values. Values. Now see the table. We see our, uh, our new values, two, some, and 11. Now I update this table. The table is updated. We can see the new value here, 12 in the new table. This is 12 here. So we inserted the value and we updated the table too. Now this information does go to the log table as per our trigger. So let's see the log table, how select all from log table. We can see here, uh, as per the log table values, current user, so user is root local localhost, updated by, updated by, old name. So in the second, we updated the second column. In the second column, there was a old name, name Sam. So it said the Sam. And then now the time is 2020, 11, 5, 17, 20. This is the date. This the uh, updating time. In this way, after update, what happens? Do when this trigger fires, then this updating information goes to the other table as per the requirements. So this is all about uh, after update trigger and the before update trigger. So how many triggers? We created today. We can see by using this syntax. Syntax so triggers. Okay, we created two trigger before update and after update. Okay, that's all for now. And in next video, uh, I will discuss before delete and after delete trigger
uh, thank you for watching. See you in another video. Bye for now.